right, guys, we are back with another one. And guess what? We just got a laser. We just got a laser. We just got a laser. I wonder who it's from. Boom, come grow. Come grow sent me out some lasers to review. They sent me the laser engraving cover. They sent me the rotary. They sent me the cutting grate. Come grow is that thing. It's called a come go Z1 laser engraver. Let's take this thing apart and get it out of the box. Go over the pieces and put this thing together. Y'all stay tuned. All right, guys. So we got everything taken out of the box. And look at that come grow blue. That thing is something special. And that thing's something special. So it comes like four pieces. Um, your gantry is right here. Got all the wires and everything already hooked up to it. Got your motherboard, everything. You just have to mount it in place. Um, your rails already got uh, one limit switch already hooked up. You have an extra limit switch right there. Um, got some cutting material. There's a laser head. And we got our directions. But it looks like it's pretty easy. They provide all the tools for you to put it together. Um, there's your belts, your cables, and those great safety glasses that we all must wear. And there's your power supply. So we're gonna do a little YouTube magic and put it together like, look at that magic, oh my goodness. So this is the 10 watt come grow laser. Um, the cutting area is 400 by 400. And now it's time to enhance your imagination. Let's try this thing out. All right guys, so we're gonna be trying canvas with our come grow laser first. This is an eight by 10 canvas. Um, you can get them from Michaels, Amazon, Dollar Tree. This one right here came from Michaels, eight by 10 cheap. Get like a 10 pack for like 9.99. So we're gonna start it off by hitting it with a coat of Rust-Oleum gloss white paint. I'll show you a picture right now. That's the paint that we're gonna be using, both white and black, to cover the canvas. Start off with the white. Start the bottom work our way all the way up to the top. We're gonna go all the way up the canvas. And then we're gonna come all the way back down. This canvas is pretty much primed pretty good, so it's gonna accept paint pretty good. You can buy some that are pretty rough and you gotta put a little more paint on, but I think this one's gonna be fine. And that's it. After this coat of paint dry, it'll take about, about two, two and a half hours. We're gonna come back and hit it with a coat of Rust-Oleum Gloss Black. Then we're gonna get ready to start this amazing burn. Gotta stick around. All right guys, we're back and it's been about two and a half, three hours. Now we're gonna put on our top coat, which is Rust-Oleum Gloss Black. We're gonna start at the bottom, work our way up, one single coat. A little test spray, make sure you can of shook up very well. It's a nice, even, overlapping coat. There we go. We're gonna let that drop about two and a half to three, three and a half hours. Then we're gonna start this amazing burn. Y'all stick around. All right, guys. This is the image that we chose to engrave today to test the Come Grow, Come Go Z110 white laser. This image is called Story in an Eye by Isaiah Stevens. All the images that I use on my page are used for learning purposes. I don't sell anything just to put that out there. So first thing we're gonna do to this image is we go to image, then we go to scale image, and then you scale, change pixel to inches, and then you scale the image to whatever canvas or material that you're gonna be engraving on me. I'm using a, doing eight by 10 canvas, so I already have scaled it to this image. You don't wanna scale it too high or too low. Um, make sure it matches up very closely so you don't stretch or uh, distort the image. All right, and then we go over here, we go to the Big Gimpin' Plugin. I'll have a link for the Big Gimpin' Plugin for everybody who is interested in it and want a link for it, I'll drop it in there. So look in the description section. Um, the DPI, we're gonna be doing 304. 
We're gonna be doing max image of 210 by 260. It's right about an eight by 10, so that's what we're gonna be running. I'm gonna hit okay. Let it process, and boom, there we go. Hit the control, we'll zoom out a little bit so we can see what we're working with. Get the wrong way. Come on. There we go. So that's what we're gonna be working with. We're gonna go ahead and go to file. We're gonna go to export as. I'm gonna call it story and I. And then we're gonna export. We're just gonna replace it. Make sure your quality is at 100%. Then we're gonna export it. All right, we're gonna load this over into Lightburn and get everything ready to burn so y'all stick around. All right, guys, we got our image loaded into Lightburn. And first thing we'll do is go ahead and go to our cuts and layers and we'll check out what we're gonna be burning today. We're gonna be using 6,000 speed at 29 and a half power. This all depends on your laser and how you got it set up. You might be uh, from 28 to 35, just depends on your laser. You gotta do a couple of sweet spots sweet spot test to figure out your settings so if you want that sweet spot test shoot me an email at at southern smoke engraving at gmail.com and i'll shoot that out to you other than that that's what we're going to be using we're going to use pass through because we want all of the settings that we used in gimp to pass over through lightburn going to hit okay um, we're going to go ahead and preview it and look at that, it says I went 35 minutes and 32 seconds. And that's what we're gonna go with. It's gonna be an amazing burn. We're gonna get everything set up. Um, and then we're gonna start this amazing burn. Y'all stick around. All right, guys, our canvas is dry. We got everything set up. Before we start this amazing burn, testing the Comgo Z1 10 watt laser, I wanna send a shout out to everyone who support my channel. I appreciate y'all. And there's a lot more coming. Let's go ahead and ship the frame this thing and see how it's working. Look like it's lining up pretty good. If you're interested in the Comgo Z1 laser, I will have a link in the description section. So this piece is going to be amazing. It's going to be an amazing burn. Y'all stick around, I'm going to start this thing. Mm -hmm. 